Willibord Snell was born in the year of 1580 in Leiden. He began to study mathematics at a very young age. He entered the University of Leiden and initially studied law, but soon he turned his attention towards mathematics and started teaching at the university by the time he was just 20. In the year of 1613, Snell succeeded his father as professor of mathematics. He did some important work in mathematics, including the method of calculating the approximate value of pi by a polygon. His method of using 96-sided polygon gives the correct value of pi up to 7 places, while the classical method only gave this value up to 2 correct places. Snell also published some books including his work on comets. However, his biggest contribution to science was his discovery of the laws of refraction. A ray of light we know travels in an undeviated straight line until it encounters a change of medium. At such a change, a portion of the incident light passes into the second medium in a different direction. This change of direction of a ray of light at the surface of separation of two different media is known as refraction of light. Suppose a ray of light traveling along a straight line AB in air is incident on the plane surface PQ of a block of glass. The ray will now pass into glass and travel along direction BC different from AB. The ray thus changes its direction at B, that is, at the surface of separation between air and glass. Here AB is the incident ray and BC is the refracted ray. A perpendicular n and dash drawn at B to the surface of separation PQ is called the normal at B. The angle ABN is called the angle of incidence. and the angle cbn dash the angle of refraction if the ray of light passes from a rarer to a denser medium as from air to glass the ray is refracted towards the normal that is the angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction on the other hand if the ray passes from a denser to a rarer medium as from glass to air the refracted ray moves away from the normal that is the angle of incidence is smaller than the angle of refraction The laws of refraction of light are as follows. The incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal of the surface of separation at the point of incidence lie in one plane and the incident and the refracted rays lie on the opposite side of the normal. The ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is a constant for any two media and for the light of a given wavelength. If I is the angle of incidence and R the angle of refraction, then according to the second law, sin I by sin R is equal to mu, a constant. The constant mu is called the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first. The refractive index of a medium, however, depends on the velocity of light in the medium. It may be shown that mu is equal to velocity of light in vacuum by velocity of light in the medium, which is equal to C by V. For example, the refractive index of glass with respect to air is 1.51. This means that when refraction occurs from air to glass, the ratio of the sines of those two angles is 1.51. The second law of refraction is also referred to as Snell's law, after the name of Dr. Willibald Snell, who enunciated this law. However, he did not publish his work on refraction. It became known only in 1703. 70 years after his death when Huygens published his result in Dioptrics That was all about Snell's law thank you for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel Explified keep coming back for more such videos